In this video, we're taking apart the Motorola One Hyper. Let's get started. First, pop out your SIM tray. All right, once you got your SIM tray removed, you're gonna use a heat gun or a hair dryer to heat the back plate up a little bit so you can loosen up the adhesive underneath. And then you're gonna pry it off using your pry tool. Lift and open the back panel from the right to the left. Be careful, you still have your cable for your fingerprint reader attached. You have two T4 screws you need to remove so you can remove the cover that's holding the connector in place. You have one screw over here and you got one right over here underneath this cable right there. Now that those screws are removed, just lift up and remove this cover. And now we can disconnect the cable by just popping it off. Here's your back plate. Now, if I'm not mistaken, these are the new graphite cooling pads right here. This as well. Basically, they just transfer heat. So this one right here that's on top of the battery is probably to transfer the heat off the battery and out the back plate. Now you have 15 more T4 screws you need to remove throughout the phone. Go ahead and remove those. Once your screws are all removed, go ahead and lift up the top cover over here. Remove that. Now one thing to note, you have some sort of an antenna assembly or NFC antenna or something running underneath this, this pad right here. So you see this black that goes underneath it and the cable runs through it right there through the slit. And on the back side, that's where it makes contact with the board. Now ideally you want to remove the battery cable first before you touch anything else. But the cable on this one for the battery is located underneath this cable that runs from the top main board to the bottom. So we're going to have to disconnect this cable first before we disconnect the battery cable. Now we can disconnect the battery cable. Now go ahead and disconnect the rest of the cables one by one. We're going to start off with this camera over here. And just to note, there's strong adhesive underneath this cable that's attached to another connector. So be careful when prying this cable up. You're going to have to lift up the adhesive. You're going to have to pry up the cable and try not to tear it. So the adhesive is right over here on top of this connector. Now we're gonna disconnect the other camera over here. And then right underneath it, there's a small Phillips screw you're gonna have to remove. So you can lift up and remove that camera. Now once you got that Phillips screw removed, you need to slide out the camera. It's got a metal bracket like that underneath it. Now this cable over here is for the pop-up camera. It's for the assembly right here. Go ahead and disconnect that. Disconnect this cable as well. You got two wire cables over here in the corner, pop those off. And you have one more cable right over here, go ahead and remove that. Now you have another small Phillips screw over here holding the main board down. Remove that so you can remove the main board. Now we're going to lift up and remove the main board. So here's your main board. You got some type of a heat transfer tape over here, the black one. And here's the back side. You got the same on the back, but you also have some thermal paste. And from the looks of it, there might be a thin vapor chamber, a copper one underneath it. Let's check that out. Okay. 
Yep. It's right there. So you got your sim reader right over here. Your headphone jack is over here. You have a water damage indicator right here. The white sticker right there. Now some good news looking at this phone compared to the previous model Motorola phones I've been working with lately. The flex cable for the power button and volume keys is located over here. So it's on this side of the frame, not on the side where the screen is. So if your buttons go bad or if your flex cable ever goes bad and you need to replace it, you won't have to risk prying off your screen and damaging it. You can just remove your main board and then your cable, you can just peel it off the frame over here and it runs through the sides over here. Just pull out the button keys and replace it. All right, now in order to remove the pop-up camera assembly right over here, you have seven Phillips screws you need to remove. Five of them are silver and two of them are black. Go ahead and remove those. Now that those screws are out of the way, make sure to pry off this flex cable from the frame of the phone so it doesn't rip off when you're pulling off the assembly. I've already taken this off once so it's gonna be easier for me. And then you also got this flex cable over here. Just pry that off. Now you can lift up and remove the motor assembly. Just in case anyone's wondering, here's a closer look at that. As for the camera assembly, at this point, you're gonna slide it up and out away from the frame. Here it is. Now here's another vapor chamber over here, a thin one. I mean, I really don't know what it's doing on a speaker assembly, but I guess there's a reason for it. Now let's lift up and remove the speaker assembly. So here's the assembly. So now we can disconnect these cables right here. You got two wire cables as well. Another good thing, charger port is replaceable. It's on this removable board down here. You have one Phillips screw over here you have to remove. Go ahead and remove that. And then we're gonna go ahead and lift up the board right here. So here's your charger port board right here. And for those who were wondering, the microphone is right here. This small gold rectangle box. They actually made these smaller. They used to be a little bit bigger, but it's getting smaller as it goes. So at this point, you're just left with the battery, the frame, the screen. You got your vibrator motor down here. You got your earpiece speaker right over here. I mean, there's nothing else I can see that I'm missing, but one thing they didn't change, the battery. The way to remove it, it's still kind of hard. You're gonna have to basically just heat it up, use a pry tool to get somewhat underneath it. You just stick it over here on the sides and just work your way around. Don't do it from the top because you don't want to damage this connector thing over here. And then once you have enough leverage, you can just use a membership card or something like an old credit card that you don't need and just work your way underneath it and gently pry it off. I mean, I wish they would start incorporating some pull straps on these batteries for the Motorola phones, but I think they just don't want you to do it. They'd rather you send it to them and pay them to do it. Now, as far as replacing the screen goes, you'd basically just have to get to the point of disconnecting battery cable and then disconnecting this cable right here. This is the screen cable. And then you'd have to remove your charger port board over here. Next, you'd have to heat the front of the screen up so you can loosen up the adhesive around the frame. And then you just basically pry the screen assembly off from the frame of the phone. And then get your new screen, run the cable back through the slit over here in the frame. And then just apply it back to the front of the frame of the phone. Reassemble the phone and you'd be done. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and put the phone back together.
All right, now once you've got all your screws back in place, go ahead and connect the cable for the fingerprint reader or scanner. Once that's connected, go ahead and put the cover over. And then screw the cover back down. Now let's put the back plate back over. And if you need to, apply new adhesive around the back plate. And then go ahead and flip the phone over. Power it on. And you're done. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.